here and today I am at my flip property I was just uh, coming up to do some last touch-ups um, just wanted to show it to you live as well since it's on the market now we just bought it on the market this week um, it's listed for two hundred and seventy five thousand dollars um, property address is 1413 North 23rd Street um, I can't wait to see the kind of feedback that we get from the market um, this was my very first personal flip home a lot of learning experiences as well a lot of things that we um, encountered and uh, let's see how it turned out let me share it with you guys so upon entrance, it's the living area here. It's a very small home, almost a thousand square feet. It's three bedrooms, one full bath. Um, really happy with the floor color. Um, and how it has turned out? Mina, come inside. Uh, this green accent wall, that was being debated about the color, but I'm, I think I'm pretty happy with the way it has turned out. Looks great, complementing with the yellow door. Um, this is where the Churchill is renovating. It is coming up. We do see some flips around as well. Um, so the street is really nice. Sometimes we are, when we are in the downtown area, it's also very important to see if the street is uh, one way or two way, what kind of traffic are we getting, what kind of neighbors are there. So all those things. But I think it was a great start. Like it was not too big. It was still manageable. And we were able to, uh, it took me, I started in March. March, April, May, June. Uh, so three and a half months. Yes, it was my very first one. It did take way more uh, time than it should have. It was a very small project. It should have been done within two months, I would say. So uh, lesson learned for next time. Just do things faster don't overthink make sure everything is aligned but sometimes we also have to work around contractors timelines as well i am loving this backsplash this was the last thing that got done and you might not have seen it in my previous videos this is the herringbone design off the subway tile a very regular design but um just the way it is executed just makes it look more stylish uh, we are giving all six appliances, including the washer dryer. So here's the stove, that's electric, the microwave, the dishwasher, that's stainless steel, and um, refrigerator. We have the washer dryer that are also here. So like I have been telling, we just were overthinking on things and no details have been left. Um, like for example, even the um lights inside the closets those kinds of details a lot of people just lo let go of those or not put the washer dryer at all uh, we just made sure that those things were taken care of outside the property does uh, i'm actually here for this final touch up just to make sure it looks nice at the back as well it does have a nice size yard it is fenced and then we have the screen porch that i'll be cleaning right now and picking up the stuff um and put everything in the shed that's that a little light fixture that i chose uh, one little detail that i really liked about it uh, the house was previously just like that red brick home uh, it was a ranch and it looked exactly like what you're seeing uh, like the neighbor's home so uh, one big decision was painting it white and the other big decision was having black trims even the black gutters but i just feel so happy about the decision because it looks so good uh, with that little detail change. The black gutters def definitely accentuate the um, space and it shows really well. So now I, I also kind of got a little scoop of what it feels like to my investors um, when they flip properties. So I just have that first hand experience as well. And actually I did invite some of them here just to give me feedback on what kind of work I did and uh, gladly they gave me really good feedback they were in fact really impressed let me show you this little detail of the mirror okay 
it just senses you and it turns on itself. It's an LED mirror. It does have some other cool features as well, but then it just sends me and um, turned on on its own. And when I leave, it will fade out. Little bit details about the tiles. Um, we have chosen the small um, pebble style uh, details on the floor and then black fixtures for the bathroom. A stand up shower with a little niche and then just a window to add more light to the bathroom. So that's that. I think the bathroom looks really good. The only feedback that I am expecting and I kind of uh, realized after I executed the whole thing was the house should have had at least more than one bath. So it's just one bath, that's the kind of feedback I'm getting because even if it's for my own clients, most of them are looking for um, a one and a half bath at least. So I think that would be the only feedback or the drawback if I may have to say, um, I have to point it out myself, that would be that. Um, yes, there will still be someone who will be okay with that since it's renovation so well done. But um, that's one thing I would give my honest opinion on. I wish it, it was at least, uh, even if it was a half bath more, but also something that you'll notice that it's just the three bedrooms and uh, there is not a lot of space to add that another half bath. So not sure where we could have accommodated that. It was just how the floor plan was and we did not move any walls or anything. The only thing we did change was, um, opening up the kitchen. So the previous kitchen was on this side here. This was the previous kitchen and that was all the vacant uh, space there. And I moved the sink um, under the window. That's how I liked it. A lot of details in, these, uh, in this home were like things I would have picked for my own home. So no corner cutting. Like for example, we had the quartz countertops herringbone style subway tiles, just like I would have wanted, the black fixtures, the white cabinets, and um, one cool little thing here, like the Lazy Susan uh, Space Saver cabinet here. Sometimes the corner cabinets get neglected, and that's a lot of space right there that can um, be utilized. A lot of people just let go of that detail. It is a little expensive to get this kind, but we just wanted to give the new buyer a whole new experience of how we would have liked. Same thing with the faucet. Uh, I did get um, comments from my other investor friends that why did I overdo on things and put so expensive stuff. That's how it is. That's how I would have liked it. For example, even the door handles, the hinges, um all those little details as well we've tried our best to give it uh okay feedback from you guys i would really want you to tell me would you guys want this to um get this area staged or not i do have my stager scheduled for friday not sure if this house already sells by then but then yeah um little light fixtures, some little touch-ups that I did on my own, but um, bringing in furniture, yes, it was possible for me, but then um, I do have some plans for the summer and I wasn't sure the, uh, the timelines on selling this home, so I wasn't sure who takes care of the furniture after me. So sometimes it's always nice to have um, specialized people doing the right things. For example, I had um, photographer come in and do it. I could have just taken the photos myself, but sometimes just adding those professional touches, bring it up a notch. And, um, okay. Thank you, Vijay. Yes. I hope it gets, uh, it sells before it is staged. Let's see. Fingers crossed. I'm only nervous about the one bath, but I do feel there's no corner cutting at all. And if there's any feedback that you guys have for me, I would love to have that. What about the colors? It was a little experiment, but I think it turned out pretty good. Um, yeah.
that's that. I do have a little helper here today with me. Samsung appliances. They're all brand new. So we got a really good deal with that as well. The last thing I added um, in the house was these cabinets, actually. In, fa in fact, these two, one and the one above the fridge. Did I have to? Not really. So my plan previously was to have floating shelves here and have like a decoration um, center right here. But maybe the contractor was not getting the idea and they thought it was easier to just put in the cabinet and get done with it. And at the end, it was just like, just wrap it up, do whatever makes sense kind of situation. But something I would have loved to do would have been not do the cabinets on top because there is ample storage space, I would say. Um, I would have really wanted to make good use of that space for decorations. But anyway, looks good. I'm still happy and feel very accomplished doing it myself. Um, yes, there was a lot of um, blood, sweat, effort, and money that went into it. Uh, I hope it all pays off. I'll see you at the next property. And I'll also, for next time, uh, we'll do something like what makes a property a good flip, how to do the numbers, uh, how do we calculate the ARVs. And I do plan on uh, getting more investors ready for the market because I know a lot of people have the money, um, but they do not know how to find the right investment properties. So let's help you through that as well. And I look forward to serving you guys for your real estate next. See you guys at another property. Bye.